Hello and welcome back. I thought I would have lost you after the last video where we uh, went pretty deep into the Git command line, uh, but glad that you're still here and uh, welcome back. We're going to cover Azure repos, a quick introduction. Um, now that you're getting a hang of all the concepts of source control, let's have a look at what Azure repos has to offer. Now, Azure repos is really one of the services within Azure DevOps. In this demo, we'll have a whistle-stop tour of some of the capability of capabilities of Azure repos and look at some of the deeper product integration which brings uh, more value within Azure repos. Let's dive right into the demo. We'll start off by navigating into our Azure DevOps account, um, which now is called Organization. So as you see, I, I navigate into dev.azure.com. Geeks is the organization that I'm working in and I will open up the project that's called Parts Limited, Unlimited. Now, the project, the concept of the project is, think of project as a layer of abstraction or a container that contains all the elements that are needed for your software development lifecycle, right? From conceptualizing your software, to planning it, to building it, to testing it, to creating artifacts for it, and then to shipping it out into production. So that basically is, is what a project is. Now, within the project, we're going to zoom in on Azure repos. Now, as I go in into Azure repos, you can see that I have uh, this nice interface where I can see um, a view of my source uh, control uh, file structure. Um, I can see the history of changes. But what's really cool here is that I have a lot of repos within the same project, and I also have the ability to create both a centralized version control system as well as a distributed version control system, both within the same project. Now, having the ability to have both TFVC and Git within the same project means that if there were certain parts of your application that needed a more centralized version control system, where well, you could put them in the centralized version control system, and by no means you're pressured into putting them into Git. For some of the other customers where they have a team foundation version control implementation already, and are looking to move some parts out into Git, this is a great way to get started where you could create a new Git repository within the same project and bit by bit move out the changes uh, or the code or the parts of code that need to be moved out. Um, the other thing that you can see within here is that we have the concept of boards. So let's navigate into boards. Going into the board, you can see all the work items that I have uh, for this project. By clicking on boards, we'll get a, a visual view of our backlog. We can, um, we can see the, the value stream. Um, we can go back to the backlog view. Within the backlog view, you can see that while we can see our backlog, we can also plan to allocate work within a sprint. Navigating into the sprint, you can see we have a task board, which will help us do our daily scrums. Now, within the task board, this is where the deeper integration within the product shows up. Say, for example, I'm working in a multi-factor auth bug that I needed to reproduce. Right from my task, I could come in and create a new branch. Let's name this branch bug fix. As you can see, the advantage of doing that is that the branch is already linked to the work item that we're creating it for. As you can see, when I do that, the, I'm navigated into the code uh, section of the product. Now, the benefit here is I can come in and I can, uh, within the context of the branch, start searching for files. The experience here is such that you have a full text editor as well. You can edit files right from here. Let's make a small edit. You can compare changes that you have made to the files. You can even commit your changes right from here. Great. So the moment I commit my changes, you can see I have the option of creating a pull request. Before going into the pull request, let's have a look at branches. 
If I come in the branches section, you can see that the bug branch that I created for the task shows up here. And in this view, I'm able to see the difference between the master and some of the master branch and the other branches. So I can see which branches are ahead of production, which branches are behind production. Now, from within this view, I can start to create a pull request to move my changes from the auth branch across to the master branch. Or I could go into the pull request uh, view and see some of the completed pull requests, abandoned pull requests. So that historic traceability stays within the product. Now, the biggest benefit of this view is you can have an overall summary of what went on in that pull request, which policies were executed, which checks were done, what code changes were done, what co code comments were left behind, any updates that were made to the pull request, what commits were included as part of the pull request. So, so that's, that's all included within Azure repos. Now, flipping across to the pipeline section, we can see these are all the pipelines, builds, as well as re build pipelines that we have um, within the project. And if we go back into the repo section, we can see again that there is a synergy between the repos and the builds. As you can see here, I can see that there's a succeeded flag showing up here telling me that the build that is mapped to this branch into this repository has successfully succeeded. We can go and click through, navigate right into the build, and we can investigate the test execution. Let me also show you one of the other builds that I've done here. In the analytics view for that specific build, we can see a summary of all the past and failed tests. We can drill in and see a trend of how long since the tests have been failing or passing, which specific tests are failing, navigate in, kind of do the analysis on the failure. And what's even better is you can actually see the failure reasons here as well. Now moving forward, you can do your test planning within the product. As you can see here, we've got a bunch of manual uh, tests. Um, you can create your artifact packages for releasing to customers, to releasing to package management solutions. And going back, you have the option of creating dashboards to surface some of the information radiators from within the project. And last but not the least, we have a wiki experience baked into the product as well. And the benefit of this wiki experience is that you can create wiki as docs, or you could publish a code repository as a wiki as well. The biggest advantage of doing that is you can align your code changes to the changes in the documentation by keeping them in the same repository. So let's publish one of the code uh, repositories uh, as documents. And you can see right away that the changes have been published here. Perfect. So this was a very, very quick whistle tour of the Azure DevOps, specifically focused on Azure repos and having um, a view of how Azure repos integrates with the rest of the products and how the experiences of Azure pipelines, Azure tests, Azure artifacts, and Azure dashboards weave into each other.